it's Julie Meller, Easy Swing Coach. This video uh, has, has come about by a few comments that I've received on some of the bunker plays uh, from people who are saying it's all right playing shots out of nice bunkers, but what about these ones where there's hardly any sand in them? Um, so what I've done uh, in, in this practice bunker, I've simulated that kind of lie. So I've taken most of the sand away from it. There's a very, very small uh, amount of sand um, underneath the golf ball and then we're into like a clay lie so what i wanted to do is show you how easy this shot is a lot of people are very fearful of it and yet if we do the right things in the setup this shot becomes so much easier now um, i don't know if you've heard of a thing called bounce on your golf club bounce is a really good thing um, it's it's actually from the bottom i'm going to come in really close and let's see if i can show you what bounce is so here I am really close. So what you might see here, let me clean that off a little bit, is there's a gap between the front edge of the club and the back edge. Now that amount of bounce is a really good idea, but what we don't want in this lie is too much bounce. So if I start to open the club face, that leading edge is starting to go up a lot higher. So what we actually need to do in this situation, we need to start to close the face to take away the bounce. So what I'm going to do now at setup, uh, remember I'm going to set up nice and square. So I'm not opening my stance like uh, conventional teachers do. So I like to keep things much squarer. We're going to keep the golf ball in the middle of your stance. So we're not going to have it too far forward or too far back. But what I am going to do at address is I'm actually going to turn the club in. I'm going to close the club face. Now we would have to allow for that um, in terms of where we're aiming the club. But what, what we've suddenly done now is we've changed your club from like having a spoon base to a sharp edge. So like a knife by turning this up. So the toe of the club is starting to, to dip down slightly rather than opening up like a lot of people do. The absolute worst thing that we could do in this situation is open the club face because it increases the bounce and bounce is really good at making the club um, land on the surface and then come straight back out. We need it to go in slightly so we want a much sharper edge so we need to close the club face at address. Not too much but we definitely need to close it to take off that bounce. So this is, um, I don't know, two, three foot high, this, um, this slope on here. So I wouldn't say too many bunkers are a lot higher than this on most golf courses. So at the moment here, I've got a 54 degree sand wedge. So I'm keeping the ball in the middle of my feet. I'm trying to dig my feet in a little bit, but here I'll just do a practice swing just to prove to you how hard this lie is. So there's no real, sand coming up there it's just a little bit of mud because I've taken it all away um, so what I'm going to do now I don't know if you notice a the difference then is my swing now got a little bit shorter because I don't need a full swing for this particular shot because I'm just trying to get it over the edge of the bunker and landing on it would be the green obviously we're, we're chipping here onto our driving range so I'm going to close the club face I'm holding the club really lightly again as, uh, as we like to on most of these shots. Let's watch the swing technique and tell me what you see. Okay. That one's come out about 20 yards, something like that. Now, if I wanted it to come out a bit shorter, came out really easy, by the way, holding it very lightly. Let's just stick that on the muddy bit. Okay, very lightly, turn the club face in, little back swing and through. That one's come out a lot softer. So this is a 54. What I could then do, if I needed a little bit more loft, is I've just swapped this now for my 60 degree um, shot, uh, my 60 degree wedge. So again, that's just in this hard, rock hard lie. So I'm digging my feet in a little bit, if there's anything to dig it into. Close the club face, nice light grip. Now what's absolutely essential for this shot is to transfer your weight. Do not leave your weight back. If you do that, 
you'll hit way before the ball it'll bounce off the hard surface and then you'll start to blade the ball so you'll you'll hit the top of the ball and then you'll hit it straight into the bank so it's absolutely essential to move your weight forward so not a lot of weight shift this way you don't need to lean forward because that can make you come in too steep that would also be um, pointless really so I'm nice and even with my balance 50 50 ball in the middle close the club face to make it a sharp edge rather than too much bounce I've got a 60 degree wedge here nice simple back swing pop it through so that one's come out now with a little bit more loft so when it lands that golf ball is totally in control again so I'm not trying to do the the long back swing as we would do normally so it's a much shorter back swing close the face back and through so easy then to start to pop it out so the absolute worst thing you can do in this situation is lean back so if I lean back now on purpose and I open the club face so two things that we desperately wouldn't want to do in this situation open the face don't shove your hands forward so keep that level but if I do these two things wrong swing too flat there's that one that's now gone 55 60 yards that's just putting us in a load of trouble so let's keep this as simple as possible nice and uh, level feet ball in the middle closed club face relatively short back swing and let the loft just pop it over the edge of the bunker um, again if you hopefully you'll find this quite helpful and if you did need a bit more distance you know i'm just popping these out imagine these just going on the green if i did want a bit more distance i'd probably go back to my 54 because don't remember when uh, sorry remember when we close the place we're actually um increasing the distance that, that the thing will go so we're taking the loft off it close the club face so if i want to go a bit further i can have a longer swing follow it through and that one will pop out to 40 50 yards just again depending on the shot that you need to play but it's absolutely vital everybody just to keep that weight going forward to strike the sand properly uh, nice relaxed posture up down follow it through um, and that, that should make a real difference um, again these shots as as ben hogan always said never attempt a shot you haven't practiced a thousand times practice is not a swear word get in the bunker if you're no good out of bunkers go and practice them or you know get some get some help if um, if you're struggling with them or give me a call and come along and pop along and let's see if we can help you with your bunker play remember i do an awful lot of um, skype and facetime lessons now so if you are in another country and you need some help and you've got access to to a phone we can do this in real time on your practice ground if you want to um, again leave me some comments if uh, if you need a bit of feedback and by all means visit my website juliemellagolfschool.com and send me an email um, if you've got any questions hope this has helped thanks for watching guys bye